Hi, this video is a lecture taken from an online course about data engineering on Microsoft Azure and I hope it helps you learn more about data engineering. Let's compare batch and stream processing. With batch processing, we know that the data size is quite large. Most of the time, we will process all the data available to us and the data must be at rest so the size must be known and should not change during the processing. This is not the case with stream processing. With stream processing, we only process individual record or just few records and the data are in motion, which means the data are being streamed constantly into the system. If you look at the data scope, we will process all the data available in a batch processing system, but in a stream processing system, we will only process the most recent event. If you look at performance, we will see that Batch processing has a higher latency than stream processing. A batch processing job can take hours to day to run to the end. And with stream processing, it's really just a few milliseconds. And this, the reason is that we only process the most recent events. We can also look at the type of analytics that we can do with both. With batch processing, these are really quite complex jobs that we will do on large data sets. And with stream processing, we just do simple analytics and real-time responses to events. Again, let's take a look at the modern data platform using Azure Data Services. What we are seeing here, we know that we have different systems that will be producing events. We can ingest those events using Azure Event Hub or Azure IoT Hubs. The next thing, we can use Azure Stream Analytics to do real-time analytics or you can do some stream ingestion in which we will process the data and then store it back somewhere it can be either in a blob storage or object storage such as azure data lake storage or in some dedicated sql pools of course the same also goes for batch processing with batch processing we will then be using systems such as Azure Synapse Analytics or Azure Data Factory to read from different sources and then push the data into Azure Data Lake or any data relational any relational database management system. On the processing side, we can then use Azure Synapse Analytics either with Apache Spark or with Azure SQL. On this side, you can really use any framework that you want. The thing is, after the data have been generated and ingested, on the processing side, you are free to use whatever you want. However, this course is about Microsoft Azure. This is why we are going to be looking into building a modern data platform using Azure Data Services. If you enjoyed this video, I think you will also like the entire course. The course covers multiple Azure services that you can use to perform data engineering. For example, you will learn how to build a data pipeline using Azure Data Factory or how to use Azure Key Vault to secure access to your data. Also, with Azure Synapse Analytics, you will learn how to build a modern data warehouse in the cloud or how to run Apache Spark code using Azure Synapse Analytics. And it covers other topics such as Azure SQL databases and much more. So check it out using the link below. Thank you.